Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Uncle Nate with Aiden the Shark. Appreciate you coming back to see us. I know it's been a little bit since we've had a video. This is our first race in Florida with our new Legend car over at Auburndale Speedway. We had lots of practice in the morning, and this is our race from the GoPro film. We got sent to the back of the field along with one other kid who it's the first time they've been there, so they just made us race from the back. And that wasn't too bad. It gave us some chance to check out the track, see some other people's lines, make some passes. So we're about lap one or two here. Aiden's got shuffled to very last place and gets stuck behind. There was this number 47 car here for a little bit. Tell us how it's going out there, buddy. Well, right now the 47 car keeps on getting loose, so I just have to back off. Or right when I'm right about to pass and he just comes down. So I'm just trying to um, figure out all the other spots I can make some speed at. What were our two big goals for the race this week? Not wrecking the car and beating Sadie. Not wrecking the car and beating Sadie. Well, beating Sadie, I think, was your second goal. My second goal was pick up some speed, get some experience, and have fun. But beating Sadie was a bonus for you, huh? Yeah. Well, I got a chance to talk to Sadie's folks for a little bit while it was raining. We had a rain delay for a couple hours. They're really nice people. Uh, you'll see Sadie here in a couple minutes when we get around the 47. She's the number three car. And um, how'd you finally get around this 47 here, buddy? What, what's going on here? What are you um, doing? So I'm just like staying right by. I'm waiting for him to make a mistake. And like, he just keeps on making mistakes and stuff. But every time he makes one in the turn, um, he just comes down and cuts me off. But then eventually he just slides up and I get around him. Well, how come you don't just stick your nose under there and try to beat him to the corner? Because I don't want to wreck my new car. Because you don't want to wreck your new car. So we're switching over from kart racing where it's a little different and a lot rougher and we're really happy with the spatial respect most of the drivers that all the tracks we've gone to has given us uh, moving up to this level of car most people do it for fun and they're pretty expensive little cars and you don't just want to go tearing them up especially racing from the back like this so i was really happy with aiden for being patient um, some of you folks that race might notice we're probably not on the right line to get a good run on somebody and if you don't notice that uh, we might point it out a little later but we don't want to give too much away with some of our strategies and it's lines just, it's because i was just trying to get around them because you were trying to get around them i was just trying to get right behind them and trying to bump them but that's what today was about was experience and learning and uh, we're definitely got plenty of video to learn from on this race and we're going to make some improvements uh, we were very proud to be the third or fourth fastest car out on the track even though we did start from the rear but didn't really reflect reflect how fast or slow our car was and as a whole i was very impressed and happy with aiden's performance and now that we're around the 47 who's in front of you now sadie sadie's in front of us now so aiden's gonna try to hawk down sadie and the number one rule for passing is no bumping no bumping pass him clean so Aiden's going to get a pretty good run on her, and I think right as he gets a run on her, she has a little bobble, so we get around her pretty clean. And uh, we do want to give a shout out to Sadie and her parents. They're a really nice racing family. She races Bandoleros and Legends. Uh, she's been a great competitor with us in the last three years in go-karting as well. Um, Aiden's pretty pumped for beating her because she's beaten us more times than we've beaten her, haven't she, little buddy? Yeah. So... Not that we keep score or anything, but we got to get a couple more wins against her till we come even. And uh, she's learning, we're learning, and we're really excited to have them and legends with us um, to learn with, bounce ideas off, share, and possibly do a little bit of traveling racing. I talked to their family about that this weekend, and we're really excited about that. So now we get some open track in front of you. And Aiden hasn't seen this video, so he's watching it for the first time just like you guys are and his little face tells me he knows what right now i'm way too low you're way too low that's right buddy well it's because i had my sweat in my eyes i couldn't see so it was hot it was like 94 degrees and it had sprinkled off and on throughout the day so aiden says he was getting sweat in his eyes and what did uncle nate tell you when you came off the track and he said you were blind for a little bit you don't remember uncle nate said you're driving like you were blind oh yeah yeah but uh, all joking aside, he really did very good. Uh, we do have some improvements to make on the line and everything. 
I am really confident that once we fine tune our setup here and we fix our line that we're going to be up in the front. Um, we're not that far off pace from the front front leaders and we have a lot of low hanging fruit to pick up on speed. So we're really looking forward to making those improvements and I hope by the end of the year maybe we can even get a podium finish. What do you think, dude? Yeah. We only got about four races left in the year out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So what do you like about this track more or less than some of the other tracks we've run at? It has a lot more banking and you can um, go a little faster into turns, carry a little bit more speed. What about the line in the turns? Is it a little wider line? Is it a little smaller? Is it about the same? Um, it's a little bit wider. So you can carry more speed through the turns and you have a little bit more diversity of where you can run at on the track in the turns? Uh, but when you get a little bit above the black line, um, you're going to start sliding going to get a little you're going to slide if you get above the black line yeah well aiden doesn't know we haven't talked about that but that black line is what's called pj1 it's a special compound that they sealed into the track to give it more traction and allow the track to be more than a one groove track you've never seen that before and i learned that when i was in the stands talking to some of the other racers so auburndale speedway has done the best they possibly can to offer the widest racing surface and the best racing action they can for their racers and spectators both. And I really enjoyed watching Aiden go around this track and figure it out. It's a lot different than Atlanta and Charlotte, isn't it? Yeah. And you can see sometimes we're coming in too low. These cars we've learned are what I like to call a bottom hugger, which means you gotta be on the very bottom in the turns or what happens? You slide high in your wreck. You slide high in your wreck. And we've seen some pretty nasty wrecks in these cars, and we've been fortunate enough not to really be involved in any wrecks except our very first race out where there was no real damage done other than a bumper. And what do you say we shut up for a second and we'll take a couple laps around. We're gonna crank up the volume and just let you hear this car sing. Come back and see us. We got lots more racing action coming. Still got two months left in the season.